Well, February 24th through March 1st is recognized as National Eating Disorders Awareness Week. Joining us in the studio to talk about reducing stigma and improving prevention is Gail Hall, Executive Director of the Michigan Eating Disorders Alliance. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Appreciate it. Well, let's first talk about your program. Mm -hmm. Well, our program is designed to prevent stigma, um, I'm sorry, to increase prevention efforts, raise awareness, and decrease stigma for those individuals that are struggling with an eating disorder. Because it's a mental health issue, it's often not acknowledged, it's kept secret. So just by daring to have a conversation about it and bringing it out into the open, hopefully that helps to reduce stigma. Because the reality is, it is something that a lot of people are dealing with, and as we are chatting even more so now, you know, among teens because of social media and things like that. Absolutely, and unfortunately not only teens, it's spreading down to younger and younger children. Wow. We've had some nine-year-olds already who needed treatment. And sometimes individuals in their 40s wow. and 50s are still struggling, so right. it really can be a lifetime battle. Yeah. And so you have seen this at your place, yes. the continuous uptick in yes. people who need help. Yes, for sure. I mean, it, when I first started doing this work, which has been quite a while now, right. our average patient was a white teenager. But now this is spread across socioeconomic strata, different races, mm -hmm. you know, different cultural backgrounds. Everybody struggles with it. The key central factor, though, is you have to live in a society that really glorifies thinness and then that has a media that can spread right. that everywhere. Right. Sure. All right, so let's talk about some things that are happening tonight and tomorrow. Tonight we have an event at the JW Marriott. We are going to be across the street from the Blue Bridge. Unfortunately, it's not going to be lit this year because the lights are not functioning, but we're going to have our That's event okay. anyway. Yes. That's okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, this is a national week and we want to draw attention mm -hmm. to the issue. It is for our donors and supporters, but tickets are available even at the door for a suggested donation of $10. Okay. So what kind of things can folks learn if they come to one of these? Well, we're talking about a new initiative that we're really excited about. We think in order to get to the roots of this problem, we have to start talking about it really early yeah. in the the schools and you have to find a method that introducing it that interests teenagers so we are working on a film and we are working with the filmmakers to edit it down to a 45 minute version so that it can be shown in classrooms it's about body image stigma it's about the whole idea of mandatory BMI testing in schools which mm -hmm. was big a few years ago mm -hmm. and that did nothing other than make the kids who got those reports feel bad it did nothing in terms of prevention yeah, wow. and do you find that communication and trying to break that barrier to get, especially kids, teenagers, to talk about it is the toughest part? Absolutely. I think there's a lot of secrecy and shame around the disorder, so I would say to parents, if you see behaviors that concern you, not only eating behaviors, uh, obvious weight loss, disappearing from the table after eating, but more social withdrawal, more depression, more anxiety, talk to your children. Don't just let it go on. I think we have the myth that somehow if we talk about these things, the problems will get worse, and actually it's quite the opposite. Right. So where can families go, you know, if they want to reach out, obviously to get involved in what you have going on, but for help too? Well, our, we have a lot of resources okay. listed on our website, which I'm sure you're posting, yep. www.meta.org. Okay. So it's a great Very place good. to start. Thank yes. you so much for Thanks, being Gail. here. And thanks again yeah. for having me. It is 846. Well,